The Islamist terrorist who shouted Allahu Akbar as he beheaded a woman and killed two others in an attack on a Catholic church in France was pictured last night. Brahim Aasawi, a 21-year-old Tunisian who arrived in Europe on a migrant boat just last month, attacked worshippers with a 12-inch blade in the Notre Dame Basilica in Nice starting around 9 a.m., slitting the throat of a 60-year-old woman near the church's font in a beheading attempt. He then hacked 54-year-old sacristan Vincent Locks to death as he prepared for the first mass of the day. Brazilian-born Simone Barreto Silva, 44, was then stabbed multiple times but managed to escape the church, running to a nearby burger bar where she succumbed to her injuries. The mother of three's last words to paramedics were, Tell my children that I love them. A local called police who arrived around 9.10 m and shot Asawi 14 times as he screamed Allahu Akbar, God is greatest in Arabic, a phrase he kept shouting even after being sedated and put into an ambulance, Nice Mayor Christian Estrosi said. Asawi had arrived in Nice at around 6.30 m via the railway station, where he quickly changed his clothes, French prosecutor Jean-Francois Richard told journalists yesterday. CCTV then showed him arriving in the church at 8.30 m and staying there for nearly half an hour. The assailant had entered Europe via the Italian island of Lampedusa on September 20 and arrived in Paris on October 9. The travel information came from a document on Asawi from the Italian Red Cross, Mr. Richard said. Bien, mesdames, messieurs. Une fois encore, notre pays a été frappé par une attaque terroriste islamiste. Une fois encore ce matin, ce sont trois de nos compatriotes qui sont tombés à Nice, en cette basilique Notre-Dame de Nice. Et très clairement, c'est la France qui est attaquée. Au même moment, nous avions un site consulaire français qui était attaqué en Arabie Saoudite, à Jeddah, au même moment, des interpellations sur notre territoire se faisaient. Je veux ici dire d'abord et avant tout le soutien de la nation tout entière aux catholiques, de France et d'ailleurs. Après l'assassinat du Père Amel à l'été 2016, c'est une nouvelle fois les catholiques qui sont attaqués dans notre pays menacé, avant euh, les fêtes de la Toussaint. La nation tout entière se tient à leur côté et se tiendra pour que leur religion puisse continuer de s'exercer librement dans notre pays.